Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Everything Wrestling. Today, I will be showing you how to use your Figures Toy Company Arena Stairs playset and various options of staging that you can do with uh, the playset. So I know a lot of people, you know, see the items and then be like, man, you know, uh, what can I say? They have an idea, but don't know how to execute it. So what I want to do is show you a couple examples of work that I've done with the playset and explain to you how I did it. And hopefully it jogs some ideas for you. Or, you know, if you look at it and you be like, oh, OK, I didn't think to do this or I didn't think you can use that or whatever case may be. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. And I can, you know, I don't mind giving any pointers or tips or that type of thing. So I just want to basically show you what works best for me. So with, without further ado, let's move on. So the first uh, picture that I recreated was pretty much based off the ECW invasion. So uh, the way I set things up, um, or first, let me retry. Let me go back. So what I was going for was that moment when um, the ECW participants came through the curtain and, you know, the crowd is going wild and that type of thing. So the way I set this scene up was if you notice in the lower right corner, uh, I took an additional figure. So let's go back a little bit. If you look at the background. And you see it already encompasses uh, a crowd. And what I want to do is almost give it the effect of the not so quite cartoony, but more of a realistic crowd. So what we did was, if you look in the lower right hand corner, uh, I took two suited figures. Now, obviously, you should be able to tell who they are. But I mean, it's, I used a uh, JBL and a mid suited figure. And then to the left of it, um, I used uh, one of the FTC, uh, FTC generic figures and pretty much put it in a perspective so that when the camera caught it, it almost looked like they are part of that crowd. And then if you look to the uh, top right, you don't get too much of the a uh, comic crowd you're only seeing the flashes so it's kind of it, it takes your eyes off of the comic look but it gives you more of that realistic look and then of course you know we set we set up tommy dreamer to make it seem like he's walking down the stairs and then you got that look from sandman as though you know he he is acknowledging the crowd like we're here and the same thing with rhino so that's how we pulled off that scene. Now, the next scene that we did was uh, this was taken from WCW Nitro. And I don't know if you remember when uh, Macho Man was feuding with DDP. He would always, you know, when DDP in the middle of DDP matches, he would always appear at in somewhere within the arena at the top of the stairs. And you know, he would be on the mic and cut a promo. And usually he had Liz with him. Uh, and basically DDP would be sitting in the ring looking at him. And then he eventually would jump out the ring and try to go and catch Macho. So the part that I'm recreating is that part when Macho just appears at the top of the stairs. So same thing I did with this one, which is similar to that first picture where, again, blended in my crowd at the bottom so now if you look towards the bottom if you notice you see a couple cup uh, a couple of the com uh comedic type crowd but also we blended in uh some regular figures so i think that's the one from uh i can't think of that 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 show that this cat was on but it's one of those Nika, fi Nika figures. And just FYI, Nika figures are always great for uh, crowd work. So if you're looking for like the best figures, 
to use for crowd work. Uh, Nika is is great for that. And then also like suited figures from Mattel, uh, the WWE figures. Those are great. Uh, but basically, back to what I was saying, same setup. Now we got Macho Man, almost like he's talking to the crowd. And if you look to the left, you see how we basically put him on the edge enough so they almost look like that guy is reaching out to try to touch him. So it gives you, again, it takes your eyes off the crowd and it's focusing. We put your focus on where we want your focus. And the focus we want you to have is on Macho Man and Liz. And then we took the security guy and we had him stand at the top. So he's pretty much like he's kind of trying to keep the crowd away, which is why you don't see too many uh, crowd figures in the shot. So he's kind of doing his job. He's standing at that curtain and he's kind of keeping everybody away. So that was the uh, rationale behind that photo. Now, for our final photo, what we did was we took it back to uh, 2009 bragging rights. So you remember the last, I think it was the Falls County Anywhere last man standing match between Orton and Zena. So what we did with this one, is we took the guardrails. If you look at the bottom where the ref is standing. So we took the guardrails and we used our guardrails to section off the stairs. So what we want to do was to give it the appearance of that they were that the stairs was two different sections, two individual sections, just like in the real arena, and that the they were fighting on that top section. So that like I said, with your eyes and the way you would look at it was that you would automatically assume that there's a bottom to that part. And that's what we want you to, that's how we want you to look. So uh, we took the guardrails and because the stairs are not, um, uh, the stairs are not that wide, it's wide enough for you to stand on, but it's not wide enough to properly place the guardrails. What we did was we used, um, I made a makeshift block on each end. So pretty much took some styrofoam, a styrofoam block, and elevated the guardrails on those blocks to even them out. So that's pretty much how the guardrails are hanging up there. And then, of course, we posed Cena, and we got Orton in a fighting motion, almost like he's getting ready to elbow him uh, to kind of get out of the FU. And then we stuck the referee in the center where he's trying to basically control the action. And the reason that we did that is because again, we want to draw your eyes away from the crowd and draw your eyes to the action. So when you're looking at this, you know, you may see the crowd on the side and you know, all that, you know, it's kind of like somebody drew in the crowd, but again, your, your eyes immediately goes towards the action uh, where that ref is. So the ref is like your center point. And then we built around that. So hopefully this has helped you uh, or has sparked some ideas for you to take your place at and create some awesome uh, pictures out of that. But if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to let us know. Um, at, you know, feel free to let us let us know what your questions are. Leave them in the comments section. And I definitely will. Uh, answer them also if you haven't subscribed to our channel please make sure you subscribe to our channel uh uh because we're basically going to come with some more content things like this and we like i said we got some more series coming we got a whole lot of stuff coming down the pipe pipeline so we definitely want you to go on that ride with us so other than that we hope this has been a help to, to you and until next time we want you guys to stay blessed out there and be safe and come on back uh, the next go around. And we look forward to bringing you some more interesting content. Until then, we'll talk to you.